Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to talk to you about calves. So uh, I say calves, but really we're going to cover the muscles all in the lower portion of the leg. The reason why is for a lot of people you have tight calves, it causes pain in the feet or even in the knees, especially for ladies who wear high heels all the time. So I'm going to start by showing you some rolling, then I'll show you some stretches and we'll go through some strengthening exercises at the end that you can do. Grab your strap. Okay, so we're going to be using a lacrosse ball to roll a few points on the lower leg. I'm going to show them on myself, but also I'm going to be putting up a diagram with the points outlined in this video so you have a clearer picture. Let's start by putting the ball on the outside of the leg. We're going to go kind of back and to the outside in here and we're going to roll downwards. So everything we're doing for 10, approximately 10 to 12 strokes with pressure going in one direction. Then you're going to move the ball down about three fingers, depending on the size of your leg, obviously. And you're gonna find another point right below there. You're going to hit that point there the same way I did, just like this. You can also control the pressure by adding weight from your own hand. After that, we're going to move to the other side of the leg and hit the same, uh, same points, but from the other side. So a little bit back and onto the meteor part of the calf muscle, right in there. We're gonna put the ball and you can turn your leg however you want and control the pressure. And remember only going in one direction. And you're gonna follow that down, come on down a little bit and hit that. You can really roll uh, the entire length of this, but we're only doing small little sections about two to three inches at a time and then moving on to the next spot. The other point that we're going to hit, we're going to come to the front of the leg and move our way down right in here. So here is the bone and I move over and to the side. If I move my ankle, I actually feel it from here and that tells me I'm in the right spot. And I'm gonna put the ball there and once again, uh, 10 to 12 strokes on each spot and I'll work my way down here. Last spot I'm going to show you for rolling is going to be on the back. So if I flex my calf, my calf muscle comes up in a W shape and I'm gonna find the point in the center of the W and I could either press in with my thumbs and that's going to hit my soleus or I could again use the ball like so and do 10 to 12 strokes. So that's the rolling for this muscle group. Okay, so now we're going to stretch the calves. The first exercise we're going to do is a downward dog. So you're going to walk your hands out just far enough that you struggle to keep your heels on the floor. You're gonna really drive your heels into the floor and bend and straighten alternating legs. Then we're gonna hold it and then uh, walk back up. After you've done that stretch, we're going to do a wall stretch for the calf here. You're gonna prop your foot up. You can also do this, it's actually more effective on a step, but I don't have a staircase here to show you where you put the ball of your foot on the step and let the rest of your foot hang down. But the wall also works. So I put the ball of my foot up against the wall, keep my leg straight, and I push my hip towards the wall. So I'm holding it for five to 10 deep breaths on each side. 
Another stretch that you can do on the wall is for the lower part of the calf called the soleus in here. I'm going to be stretching my back leg. I keep my heel on the floor. I push into the wall and I bend to that back leg while keeping the heel on the floor. And again, five to 10 deep breaths each side. So you wanna make sure you're stretching both legs evenly. The last stretch I'm going to show you is actually for the front part here. And I'm going to push my toes into the ground. The easiest way to do this is if your foot's behind you and you just kind of pull it forward and you'll feel that in the front of the ankle. So as we did before, we hold it for five to 10 deep breaths and we move to the next thing. 